Right now, new video shows fire pouring from one of the cars involved in last night's crash. It shut down the five south near Oceanside. Today, we're learning the identity of two of those victims, an elderly husband and wife. 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens is live in Paradise Hills with the latest. At Lindsay, Ariel, Jose and Ruth Cortez were both 80 years old and they leave behind a family that stretches from this Paradise Hills neighborhood all the way to the Philippines. A niece of theirs who lives in the Philippines told me that family is devastated by the loss and neighbors in this area say they heard about the crash yesterday. They never expected it to hit this close to home. Neighbors remember Jose and Ruth Cortez as generous people who gave a lot to others. She'd bring us avocados, huge avocados, because they have avocado trees in the backyard. And plants in the front that people would use for tea leaves. They were a good couple, um, loved each other, loved their family. Jose and Ruth died in a car crash on Christmas night. Highway Patrol tells 10 News a car hit concrete barriers on the side of the freeway and crashed on the shoulder. The driver then pulled out into traffic. That's when a second car slammed into the first one, causing the fire. Jose and Ruth Cortez were in that second car and died in the crash. The person driving them was taken to Scripps La Jolla Hospital with moderate injuries. Back in the neighborhood, shock that the couple who gave so much was taken away. We all kind of watched out. For, they watch out for, we watch out for each other. So they're going to be missed, highly missed. As for the driver in that other car, Highway Patrol tells us his body was so badly damaged it's going to take them a while to identify him. They are still investigating the cause of both of the crashes that led up to the three deaths. Coming up at six o'clock, the one holiday tradition that Jose and Ruth Cortez had on this street, that neighbors say they will remember forever. Live in Paradise Hills, Jared Aarons, 10 News.